Good morning. Today I'm going to do a short video on how to meter current. In this particular example, we're going to be metering the current of a NAC circuit on a fire alarm system. This is a new fire. Oh, you caught me off guard. I don't. It's a 320. Um, <clears throat> we had a NAC. Well, a, a group of horn strobes that were sputtering or stuttering, and they weren't working at the inspection. Well, I just tested them this morning and they're working just fine, but I wanted to see the current. So what I did was I, you disconnect on NAC1, you disconnect your positive. And what you're gonna do is, this is the vital, vital part. Make sure your meter leads are plugged into current. I have a Fluke 117 here. Current, or the amp is on the left. You plug the positive into the amp. Keep your negative in the com, and turn your dial to DC amps down there. Now, if you don't do this right, you're gonna blow your fuse. I've blown my fuse a couple of times on in the past. Um, you're gonna, with the horns running, set your positive lead to the positive uh, wire. Now, voltage is flowing, oh, I want to say like, I might be wrong on this, correct me in the comments if you have to, but um, we think that things flow to ground, but actually I think they flow from negative to positive. I think the positive, the current draws it back to the positive. So that's why we're doing this. We're doing our load is actually the positive because it's coming from the panel out to the positive. So you're going to hold your positive lead on the red positive wire. And I've only got two hands today, so. Uh, and then you're gonna just touch your negative lead to where the positive wire lands on the wire. When it's an alarm, let's see if I can do this here. Pardon my poor camera skills for a moment. Yeah, I'm just checking. It won't show any amps, it'll show zero amps unless. <coughs> you have the horn strobes running. And I won't be able to show that today, but positive lead to positive wire coming, because it comes back, and negative lead onto the positive terminal of your fire panel. You'll get how many ever amps are flowing through those horn strobes, and if you have any issues, if one's drawing too much, you'll be able to kind of tell if the circuit's overloading. Um, I don't know what the rating is on these, I should know, but, um, when I tested it earlier, it was like 1.9 amps. Usually these are like three amp, a lot of, a lot of typical uh, NAC circuits are like three amps per circuit with a total, a max total for all four, depending on what your power supply is uh, capable of doing. Thanks for watching and be safe.